Okay, so I am going to be talking about um, the articles that Oliver and Yongo um, articles. I believe that's how you say um, her last name. Okay, so first we're going to talk about Putting the Body on the Line, Endurance in Black Performance by Valerie Castle Oliver. Um, so she is talking about... Um, she talks about mostly, um, I would say that the thesis would be about black visual artists uh, using embodied art to, uh, performance art to speak their truths. Um, so she talks about, on page 14, black visual artist distinguishes itself by moving away from stage and into theater of everyday and ordinary. And, um, she goes on to say about how this started in the beginning and when she says the beginning she means the beginning of when um black peoples were brought to america because she's talking mostly about the americas and how they were brought as slaves and how um they were seen as it, they were performing and um she talks about how it was codified um and so then she goes on to kind of describe what black performance art or black performance is not performance art sorry um she says there's various dis definitions and um on page 14 she says it's often temporal and engages visual elements it's rooted in spectacle occupies liminal space between black ex eccentricity and bodacious behavior and between political protest and social criticism um and the last part is more about art i believe because it's rooted in black cultural uh, performance art, black performance art is rooted in black cultural expression and its historical lineage. So um, the historical lineage being from, again, from the beginning. Um, so then she goes on to talk about um, various artists from Papo Colo to Pope L, um, Sherman Fleming, AKA Rod Force, John Leonardo, Tamika Norris, Jacoby Satterwhite, um, that's the last one. But I'm going to specifically talk about one of them um, that I think I, I mean, I read all of them, um, but I think that the two that I want to talk about most are um, Sean Leonardo, um, and then the other I'll talk about is um, Jacoby Satterwhite. Uh, but with Sean Leonardo, he, it, it's different because in the other uh, black performance artists, they are um, African American, whereas uh, Sean Leonardo, except for, I'm sorry, that's a broad statement, uh, Papu Colo is also Puerto Rican. Uh, but what Sean Leonardo explores is the diaspora of being Colombian as well. So um, he talks about this through, um, apparently there's an act of like clearing your blood. Uh, I can't remember the um, what it is in Spanish, but it's like the clear cleanliness of your blood. And basically in Colombia, they make you extract blood to make you more pure if you're black. Um, I believe that's it. I don't want to say that that's it and it not be it but that's what my understanding of it was um but he does uh he did this performance art piece from 2005 to 2007 as um as oliver talks about on page 17 and 18 um it was called el conquistador versus the invisible man and basically it's him fighting himself in an invis the invisible man being in a metaphor and it, I just found that so interesting um and then another show Tamika Norris was another but uh Jacoby Satterwhite in the ma marathon movement sessions that's talked about on page 18 and 19 that not only was um to talk about being the bot embodiment and a lot of these have to do with endurance as well. The endurance-based or bo uh, body-based performance art. And so he did these things called marathon movement sessions. And um, it's like voguing. Um, or at least that's what my understanding would be of it. That it was like voguing and they referenced Paris is Burning. And how he would 
that um, Jacoby Soder- Soderwhite would do these sessions. But the thing that um, concludes uh, Oliver is this, that the black body as raw material continues to be charged with ability to provoke, to elicit reflection, and at times humor. Um, so then we'll go on to Nyong'o's article, and that was Between the Body and the Flesh, Sex and Gender in Black Performance Art um, by Tavia Nyong'o. And um, so it kind of, these were good articles to kind of parallel because they talked a lot about endurance as well. She talked about endurance, or he, I'm not quite sure. Um, they talked about endurance um, and talked about body as a lot. So um, one thing that Nyong'o said was on page 26 that sex reproduction and eroticism are central to wit to the way black people have been objectified and thus crucial to prospects of subjectification. Um, So she talks a lot about uh, black performativity, again, just performance in general rather than performance art, and then goes on to talk about um, some performance artists like Danny Tisdale and the Transitions Inc. And that has to do with cosmetics, um, makeup, and then also we talk again about Adrian Piper's mythic being. Um, And I just had a quick question about that was because it seems like she did this iteration a lot um, through the 70s and I was wondering where she came up with this character. I mean, maybe we'll talk about it when somebody presents on her. Um, but then it goes on to talk about performance again, and on page 27, it, um, Nyong'o says, Performance art disrupts politics of respectability respectability, and sex and gendered silences upon which such politics has long depended. So it's always about disruption and about, um, char- it's characterized by its radical availability, um, as it was said. But yeah, that's the... And then it talks about nightlife performance as well. Um, And then, again, about Paris is burning, but I ran out of time again. Um, One of my questions is, can we watch Paris is burning? No, I'm kidding. Um, But I also want to ask about nightlife nightlife performance and the history of it. That's one of my questions as well. Alright, that's the end of my video blog. If I can just stop it.